Hi guys, welcome to my second part of Flawless Skin with your um, mixing of your foundation and a little bit of shimmer in it with your high beam. This was the finished product of me doing my makeup. Now I just want to add a little gloss because I've done my lip gloss. So let me just see. I'll just show you the products that I used. Starting with the foundation again, going through it. Just in case you want to go out there and get them yourself. Okay, so what I first used was the Napoleon foundation stick, which is great for concealer as well. It's a two-in-one product. Then with that, I mixed in with the high beam, as you can see, that's from Benefit. Then I finished it off with a light sheer powder with Nutramedics, which is called Silk Finishing Powder with Nutramedics, Silk Sheer Perfection. Then I put a little blush by Mary Kay, which is in Pink Petals. As you can see, I've been using that quite a lot lately. With my blush brush, I just stippled that up my cheeks, my apple on my cheeks. Then I dusted my eyes with it, just to give that hint of colour. Then I used a brown this one's a brow pencil in Designer Brands, in brown, as in blonde actually. I got it for my eyebrows, but I found it was a bit dark. So what I do is I multitask it by using it for my eye. So I use it as an eyeliner. So I've been using it as an eyeliner, and I've been smudging it up the top as an eyeshadow. So it's a good smudger too. So yeah, that's a good, and plus you've got your little um, brush here. So your brow brush. You can brush your brows with that. So it's a great pencil for that. I don't know about it being an eyebrow pencil because I just found it was the wrong colour. Then I used this Great Lash Mascara. This one I swore by if you watched my other tutorial. I just I love it. It's great. Then I used another black coal pencil in Designer Brand. This one I find is good. It smudges good easily too if you want to get that smoky eye effect. I find that though in the day it it just doesn't stay, it moves. So, yeah, if you want to use it as a smudger and then probably conceal it over with eyeshadow or set it with eyeshadow or powder, do it because it doesn't stay. But I use it anyway. But if I look like Pandora, I'll just rub it off. But anyway, and then for my lip gloss, I used um, Cover Girls. I don't know the name of this one, but it's like the two in one. I think they still sell them. You've got your lip color on this end and you've got your lip gloss on this end. So, Kind of stays like a stain. It's it's pretty. It lasts pretty long. This, but yeah, these are great to have. But yeah, they're all the products I use, and this is the look I achieved. But yeah, I mean, in photos, it, you can really capture it. It really enhances your face, and it takes away any flaws. It just reflects off any flaws you've got. Probably good for wedding makeup too. So if you're getting married, get your makeup artist to mix in a little bit of this. Or if you can if you can find something else, there are other brands that do them. So yeah, um, but anyway, before I go, I just want to show you something. <coughs> this is Bella. Are you going to say hello, Bella? Say hi, guys. Say hi, guys. My name's Bella. Yeah, I've been trying to do um, tutorials with her as well, but um, yeah. So anyway, if um, keep watching and... This was this makeup look, guys, and if you have any comments, please comment down below. Or you can follow me on the um, my Facebook page, Makeup by the Glamour Genie. So, bye guys. Catch you later.